Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. This is 13 Signs Tarot, and we are going to get into a reading for March 25th for the collective. Okay, I hope you guys are in good spirits. I hope you are feeling good while you're watching this. All right, so let's see what is going on for the collective for March 25th. Let's see. The saga continues is just what I heard. Okay, the saga continues. I'm not going to take these because they made me go around the damn camera and pick them up. So let's see what happens without that. It's, it happens every once in a while. And I could sit there and edit it out and all that. But I'm not. Y'all need to know these cards be out here doing what they want to do. Right? So we have Pisces in reverse, I believe. Water element. Sensing. So Pisces, hi, how are you? We also have the other water signs, Cancer, Scorpio. A fucus can be considered a water sign. But the element is really ether. But we'll get into that another day. But... It's like belief is gone. Someone doesn't believe anymore. I'm hearing, do you believe in love after love? What? In love after love. Not that I can hear something inside me saying, I really don't think I'm strong enough. Is that how that goes? Okay, Cher. Wow. This came, this, see, you guys came from the other reading. Hi, showing up again. That wasn't even supposed to be in here. Huh? That's, yeah, that's from the other reading. So you guys, the 10 of swords. This just came from the other reading. So, so someone does not believe anymore. Someone really believes that you're done with them, the Ten of Swords, and it hurts really bad. I'm here, when it hurts so bad, when it hurts so bad, why does it feel so good? That's by Lauren Hill. The Two of Pentacles. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Someone may have found out that you have someone else now. I'm getting Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Five of Pentacles, Taurus. Yes, yeah, someone feels left out in the cold. They feel like you moved on. They don't believe you guys are going to be together anymore. They've lost hope. This person could even be questioning God is what I heard. Yeah, and they feel like you're so beautiful. I'm hearing they're 2008 and you're so 3000 and no, they're so, two, they're so 2000 and late and you're so 3008. Isn't that what Fergie said? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't ask me why I get these messages, okay? But you're the nine of pentacles and they're the five of pentacles. You look beautiful. You're coming up. You're leveling up. You are in your power. If you guys are wondering if your finances are going to be doing great, yes. Okay, so things are going to be going really well for you. And this person is just admiring you. This is a peacock, right? Very beautiful. And they can't get to you. They don't have you anymore. You're gone. So this person... Oh my God, I'm not about to... And the truth remains... You're gone. You're gone. Baby girl, you're Okay, Justin. The Nine of Cups. See, I didn't want to sing because I was uh, I'm trying to stop singing on these YouTube readings, but listen, when sometimes when the shit comes out, you gotta just sing it. But yes, somebody is there's a thousand words that I could say to make you come home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Been so long ago you walked away left me alone who is in their feelings about you so the per this person saying this is this person is dramatic i'm not laughing but it's kind of dramatic because it's like how do you go through all this well i will i will speak into some of y'all y'all have a dramatic ass person they're like still going to try to pursue you like even with this energy of like damn they're gone here they come in with the nine of cups again and that's been a b pretty key card this month it's come out uh, several times in different readings but here they come again but for some of you on a more serious note i if this person has drinking habits they may actually be drinking about you like drinking alone in dark depressive mm. yeah so if they have addictions they definitely could be drowning themselves in uh drinking or doing something to escape with pisces energy in reverse because pisces in its um lower nature is very escapist it does they you know pisces and, and naturally they don't like to deal with conflict but if it's in reverse this is definitely someone who gets into like escapism and can also get into like drugs and you know um addictions addictive things so yeah the ten of wands it's real heavy on this person that you're gone but you are thriving okay so don't even worry about it i mean yeah. Wow. Yeah. This person, some of you, I'm telling you, they're, they're addicted to something, especially if it's a Capricorn. That message came out really strong. Uh, so just, you know, no, I'm not saying that you're here to save this person. I shouldn't even probably be telling this y'all this. So I don't think any of you 
feel responsible. So I don't want you to feel responsible for this. This person chose this path. They chose this path where for whatever reason you had to walk away from them. And now they're having to deal with that. All right. This is this person's perspective of having to deal with it. I do want to clarify the nine of cups really quick to see what else comes off of that. Cause I did get addictions and the nine of cups and devil is my addiction combo. It's so funny that came out after I mentioned it. And then we have the, the nine of pentacles admiring you. I'm telling you guys, some of you, it's a Capricorn king of pentacles, but they're admiring you. So right now they're just admiring you from the, from afar. And it's very heavy on this person that you're not talking to them again. They're really hoping that you're coming back. Yeah, six of cups, three of swords. They're like thinking of all the memories about you. Someone is in their feelings because they really think they lost you. They and I feel like they're they're drowning themselves. It's sorrow is what I'm getting with the water and the Pisces in reverse. They had hope for this, but you shut them down. Um, I had to shut you down. I had to shut you down. What were you thinking? Bring her into our home. Mm, I hope it ain't like that. But yeah, I just heard sunshine. Wow. The devil card again. Someone's possessive. Very possessive over you guys. You guys, when I show you the bottom of this deck, y'all gonna know that I don't be saying stuff for no reason. What does that say? Ambitious like a cap uh, a Capricorn. I'm gonna move it so you guys you see that? Some of y'all, it is definitely a Capricorn with the devil card and twice and the king of pentacles just saying could be a virgo is someone who works really this is like a functioning i hate to say that but this person could be like a functioning addict or a functioning alcoholic because they could run a business and be very ambitious and really like look nice on the surface but behind closed doors when things don't go their way they are get very emotional and escapist and addictive and you know all that shit and they're very possessive so they seem very composed on the outside but underneath that's when you start seeing shit like this, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. This is very deep. I'm actually kind of getting like, whoa, didn't try to, I'm not trying to go down in somebody's mommy issues and subconscious. So, but I mean, Pisces in reverse, the subconscious is just bust wide open. This is your person's subconscious right now. This is what we're looking at. So I hope that this makes sense to you guys. Um, if you need a personal reading, you know to find me in the description box down there. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next reading. Bye.